What the f*** is going to go wrong in a pool? You just swim in it. It's an absolutely gorgeous day outside and here I am watching people get killed. It's tradition now, okay? If you're new to my channel, hi, hello, how you going? Um, you can't really respond, but I assume you're going pretty well. <laughs> I like to make videos, and if you enjoy this video, or reaction videos, or commentaries in general, make sure you subscribe and have, yeah, do that. Now, before we start today, I've got a little thing. Ah, oh, oh, Jesus. I want to quickly address something before we start, and that is a viewer of this channel that watches specifically the Final Destination videos is a producer on one of these movies. That's pretty cool for starters. Craig Perry. God, I hope you're watching this video. Otherwise, I am so embarrassed you've watched the other ones and the one where I go, hey man, you're not watching. Craig, if I can call him that on a first name basis, you know what I mean? Comments on each one of the Final Destination videos with insight into how the movie was made and everything. I really appreciate it. On the Final Destination 3 video though, he commented exactly what I just said. Someone replied saying that uh, he should get me into the new Final Destination video and a uh, movie and then kill me off. All right, you ready? So this is how we should plan my death in the new Final Destination, right? I just like stand here. Oh no! I reckon that was pretty believable. But for real, if for some reason you want me involved, I'll happily come. <laughs> Am I excited for this movie? Yes, I love these movies. Am I ready to discover a new fear? No? Leave a like on the video because if you die during this, then you'll feel pretty bad because you couldn't leave a like on the video. Uh, check out Patreon if you want to see videos a whole day early or make a movie request yourself. But for now, um, let's get to the final destination. This came out in 2009, I believe. So I'm expecting like punk rock. By sounds of it, we're already getting it. Look, I'm happy with this one. I'm assuming this is the opening sequence here. I don't go to race courses. I wasn't wrong about the rock music, was I? Straight off the bat. These guys lose focus for even a millisecond. You're gonna have to scrape them off the fence with a shovel. Oh my God, it's the guy from um, Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah, this is so 2009. Hey, buddy. There he is. Hey, Rami Malik. Oh my God. Fuck, mate. You need to put one of the Pepsis down. You don't need that if you're able to break a chair by sitting on it. Well, they're not really binoculars exactly. The more. They are binoculars. Oh, it's a flask. What a weird thing to have a flask of. That's Becca from The Boys. Can you see, ma'am? I'm sorry, not really. Me to move down a bit? Take your hat off, boy. I have my cowboy right here. Ugh. Ew. Let's not get the ignition pumping early. Oh, oh, don't put tampons in your ears. <laughs> That's so embarrassing for those kids. Horrible parenting. Sir, I need you to move your foot. Let me guess. Racist? Oh no. You'd think that working at a race course would be a little bit more careful. Is that a duck? No, that sounds like a dolphin sound effect. That's a dolphin sound effect. Is it safe to sit here? Of course, there's a fence there. We're fine. To be honest, race arenas like this are actually some of the safest places you can be. It's all reinforced everywhere, so you're pretty much safe. Even the barriers are. I've been to one, and I actually made our life, so I know what I'm talking about. Yeah? Why are you wearing that shirt in public? Did you feel that? Just now, right here. Oh, well, he's getting anxious. I felt something touch me, something... Strange. Anxiety Avengers Assemble. I'm not gonna lie, it's cool to watch like a live action Cars. I've always said it, Lightning McQueen is just impatient. How is that screwdriver? Oh, never mind, it is out. This movie had a 3D release, didn't it? The way that screwdriver bounced into the camera then tells me this had a 3D release. I'm wearing the wrong glasses. Oh, screwdriver. Yep, there we go. Oh, no, it drove over a screwdriver. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm wearing 
wearing the wrong glasses. I could have experienced that in 3D. Yeah, they're not very strong fences, are they? If that is how easy the chairs break, we need a whole new venue. Oh. <laughs> Did fucking Scorpio go through just, oh, get over here! Oh, oh, the CG. <laughs> oh my god. This has to be the most unsafe venue ever. Guys, if we can't get out that way at this point, I'd be running onto the race course, alright? I don't care if I get hit by a fucking car, at least I'm off here. Just climb over the concrete. Oh! It's one hot girlfriend. He sits here. Excuse me. Pardon me. The fucking cowboy in the hat. He starts it all. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to you, me, and the movies. Give me some sugar, baby. Maybe later. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, right there. That would be pretty scary, honestly, if you're able to pick what was about to happen. That's a lot of tampons for one woman. She might have multiple vaginas. I'm not scared about this premonition at all. The reason being, I don't go to these things because they literally just drive around in circles. That is so boring. There's gonna be a huge crash. Of course there's a crash. There's always a fucking crash. That's why we're here, to see people get injured. We're in the right movie. Have you all lost your- Ah, uh, tight, 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 tight. At least she can say she's tired. Why are they using, like, kills from the other movies? Was this originally meant to be, like, the final movie? Is that why it's called The Final Destination? I feel like I've just booted up, like, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 or whatever. Hey, there he is! Craig Perry! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> Death by caffeine? Is someone gonna... Die by coffee? Nick, was it like a dream? Or like a voice in your head? Can we just try to forget about it? You gotta love bonding with your friends after witnessing a horrific event. With coffee! You guys just saw some woman get fucking destroyed by a car tire and you're like, Yeah, let's get a cappuccino, please. I'll have a chai latte. Yeah, a death toll of 52 and you guys are celebrating by having a mocha. <laughs> your choice, heads or tails, but you know I like head. Oh my god. God, I don't like him. Get your prayers and that in now while you can, guys, because next weekend, the racing's back! <laughs> Number one 500 kilometer driver is driving again! That guy there does not look real. He looks like a CGI model. You knew. How did you know it was gonna happen? Again, surely we know about these events in this universe, please. Imagine the YouTube rabbit holes and theories, the podcasts of all this stuff happening. People would know. I just wanted to ask you how you uh, killed my wife. Oh, uh, so is he going to be like the Edward Scissorhands of like Final Destination 3? I think that dude's name was Ian. Hey, there's no need for that, man. Back off, you fucking freak. Yeah, he is. He's got the attitude down pat. <laughs> What? Oh my god, that was horrible. I really need my 3D glasses, don't I? I Actually, I can take these off and it pretty much looks 3D because everything duplicates. Oh my god, I know who he is. That's Sid from Toy Story. <laughs> what is this guy doing? How is there wind inside the truck when the window was closed and the doors were closed. Are we getting a death already? How short is this movie? At Destiny Towing. Oh dude, move out of the way! I feel like the truck has to be going a little bit faster than that to light up <laughs> the oil. I know why you can't be friends anymore, because you're fucking dead. Hey babe, what's up? Hey Lori. 
Turn on Channel 7 right now. I think that dog might be traumatized. Can can we, can we someone check up on that? Jesus Christ, where are your fucking pants, lady? Nick, Nick, get in here. The local PTA and NRA chapters. I was just looking at the news. I don't know what, I don't know what you were looking at. I've seen that door before. Homeland is going to kill that boyfriend. If... <laughs> Okay, yeah, I don't like the premonitions at all. I get what they were going for, but it just doesn't look good. I don't think it was a dream. It was like, it was like a vision. Like a wonder vision? You, you saw how another person was gonna die? It doesn't make any sense. Nothing makes any sense. So in his like vision that he has, are the effects 3D in his head as well? Just a curious question. Come here. Bet you can't hit that sign with a rock. I bet you I can, tampon brain. Another kill already? Fuck, this is going quick. Yes! Hey! Nice one. Like, what are you kids, stupid or something? Not just that, never throw rocks at like a lawnmower. Do you know where those rocks go when they get picked up by the lawnmower? Through your head. Whenever I mow the lawn, I have to go outside, I have to individually pick the rocks out of the grass that are in there. Otherwise, I'm worried I'm going to kill myself or break a window, which I'm more worried about breaking the window, honestly. Is there someone else that can see me? Ten of six and... We close at six. <laughs> no. And it's girls night out tonight. First time in months. And I'm so looking forward to this. When can I have a girls night out? I'm not into the boys night outs. I want a girls night out. <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little tight. <laughs> really? Those things are like the thinnest things in the world. How long have you been cutting hair? Long enough. <laughs> ah! Oh shit, that went up my asshole. Oh god, no way. Please have nothing involving a fingernail or that coming off. I swear to god, you can cut her head off mid haircut, whatever. You cut a toenail off! Get that off my fucking screen! Oh my god. Oh, why does that make me feel like I'm gonna vomit? I'm such a bitch. I'm such a little pussy. She looks like those characters from Tron now. She's not getting a haircut, she's getting a head cut. Off. Wow, the can is sliding on a completely straight surface. Just looking at that fan there, that seems like a massive OH&S hazard straight off the bat, even if it worked properly. Oh, and that, the fact that it's not hanging properly in the roof. It has like actual metal blades? That's not a fan, that's a guillotine. The scariest part about this is she could walk out with bangs. Oh, that was close. Get in the car. I've got my eye on you two. Uh-oh. <laughs> her kids got her killed? <laughs> if that isn't a PSA as to why you shouldn't have children, I don't know what is. Do you also reckon she might have got a refund for that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. You could also say that that was an expensive dye job. <laughs> Nick, what, what did you see? We gotta go to the racetrack. I'm pretty sure the race clack. <laughs> My brain's not working. I'm pretty sure the racetrack would be permanently closed. Oh my God, look at this place. How did they get into the racetrack? No, that would be sealed off. Especially now with the correlation between all these other characters dying, that would be sected off. You wouldn't be able to get in. Like there's still blood on the fucking chair. You wouldn't be allowed in. You wouldn't be able to get in. Let's go. We shouldn't be here. Let's go. As much as I said you wouldn't be able to get in, if you got in and you got caught, you were facing a severe fine. Trust me, I know. I'm recording this from prison. You better have a damn good reason for trespassing. Either that or a fat wallet. This will bring up all our video cameras right here. What? You you can't show that footage to just random civilians despite potentially knowing them? Hey, you can't be here where there's evidence. But it come with me. I got some evidence to show you. Hey, maybe if we can stop this mechanic from getting killed, we can break the chain. Ha <laughs> ha! That is a nice car, god damn. Oh, I can just smell the testosterone of this place. Uh -huh. hey. That seems a little dangerous. Hey, well, what are you doing here? 
after and find you. Not only can I smell the testosterone, I can taste the sexism. I'm sorry, but we think that you're gonna be next. You're serious? You're telling me this while I'm at work? I still have another five hours, you asshole. For a long time, I carried so much pain and anger. Is another death coming? No way. They've been like every three minutes. Yeah, I have a feeling another one's about to happen. See, now this one I can sort of believe because I would think that a mechanic's place is probably one of the most unsafe places you could work. Oh, Jesus. He nearly got fucking sent through that, like, cheese grater fence. Well, I guess it's not my turn to die. Uh, you don't say that. Whoa. <laughs> that guy decided he wanted to play IRL Tetris. I haven't even like really connected with the story because it's just literally death after death after death. Here's what here's what the story is to me so far. Oh my god, I heard a premonition. I need to find the next person. Next person dies. Oh my god, I just heard another premonition about someone else. We need to go find them. Goes to the next person. They die. Oh shit, I need to try and find someone else. Oh no, I had another premonition. Are you fucking kidding me? I finished like four minutes ago. This guy sucks, man. This guy sucks and he fucks. There is no way no one knew they were just having sex in that tent. And right next to a pool where there's children in it? Time and place, man. Excuse me, miss, but could you help a struggling artist? She's gonna say no. Sure. Oh. Oh, he has a dog. You have to help. Thanks. Have a nice day. I won't. I'll still be homeless at the end of it. Oh, damn it. What is that? Oh, it's bird poo. I was like, why did someone drop black tar onto your screen? <laughs> okay, lady, get a like random shirt or a cloth or something, a tissue in your glove box and just wipe the poo off it. Claire Rivers. <laughs> nice. But that's not how you spell Claire. I've had this argument before and I won. Browning's girlfriend, Claire Rivers. Wait a second. Is Claire... Why is Claire spelt like that? That is clear. That's clear as in like, I can see clear as day that Alex should still be in this movie. That's not a premonition that guy's having. That's a hallucination. That guy is on a hard amount of LSD because that is not a premonition. That is, you're about to fucking eat your own skin. <laughs> Do it again. Give me the gun. No. Why does he remind me of a little Steve-o? <laughs> yeah, dude! <laughs> okay. okay. That's pretty funny though. Popping the floaty? That's good. What the fuck is gonna go wrong in a pool? You just swim in it. What? I have no idea what's about to happen because I don't know what could actually go wrong at a pool. The worst that could happen at a pool is someone does a little poop and it floats up to the top. You've got yourself a little floating Mars bar that is like forbidden food. In his premonition, there was the coin and then there was something about PSI, like Psy, like Gangnam Style, like, <laughs> yeah! I can't see where this is going. And that actually concerns me for once. And what can go wrong in a car wash apart from the car wash doesn't clean the car properly? That antenna's getting violated. Oh. Yeah, well that should uh, emergency shut off the car wash, right? Water? What? Water? Lori? Is she gonna drown in her car? Or like the big car brush things like turkey slap her head till it falls off? Oh, fill the car with water, fill the car with water. Open your door, maybe. I feel like for some reason the car wash knew you hadn't drank enough water today. It's telling you, hey bitch, you need to hydrate. <laughs> I would say that's a hole in one. Oh no, his lucky coin. Oh yeah, that's 100% a hole in one. Do you really care about the coin that much? Is he getting suctioned through the fucking drain? Oh god. That's kind of terrifying, honestly. It's absolutely not possible in the slightest, but that is kind of scary. 
He's holding his breath really well for someone who's been under the water for a long time. What would that have done? It would have missed her head from where that landed. Holy shit, he's still holding his breath. That man should have drowned by now. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> Can no one else see him in the fucking water, by the way? That's clear pool water. Can no one see a dude struggling at the bottom of the pool? What's the lifeguard doing? Oh, that lifeguard's losing his job. Absolutely. Oh, well, that's not possible. Oh, shit. Heads. He does love getting head. Those people in the pool and standing around the pool were just watching this guy die and didn't even try to help. He was getting sucked off through the bottom of the pool and everyone's just... Yeah, so let me tell you about Betty. Oh, yeah, she's all right, isn't she? That's me right there, just making sure everything is sealed up. But then I could, like, accidentally slip and trip over and have the masking tape land in my mouth and then I choke on the tape. And then, at, at the, the end, end of the day, day it's, it's not, not very funny, funny is it? Is it? I would be seal wrapping everything. I would have bought all the glad wrap, the cling wrap. I would, I would have bought out supermarkets just to make sure everything in my house was proofed. I would seal proof everything. Uh, even my cat would be seal proofed in cling wrap. I would have bought out all the stores. I would have bought out all their supply. I'm staying alive. George. George. Oh, George may have got a little bit too curious. Yeah, I was gonna say, you can't kill yourself in this universe if you're involved in the accident. I've been trying to kill myself all day. <laughs> Took a bottle of painkillers, I just threw them up. Same, brother. I'm joking, joking. I kept stalling. <laughs> Imagine trying to kill yourself all day, failing. That would make you want to kill yourself more. Like, you'd want to prove yourself. You'd be like, actually, no, fuck this. I'm gonna kill myself. Ooh. I think congratulations are in <laughs> Yeah, this was a 3D movie. Thank God. And a toast. Mm -hmm. To life. To life. What the hell? He's been trying to kill himself all day. And now he's like, yeah, to life, guys. We're the best. I'm just thankful that we have our whole lives ahead of us. You know? Yeah. Uh, do you guys remember what movie you're in? Don't answer that. You could die. What the fuck? What's with the snake? Jonathan Groves was rescued in the rubble. Oh, cowboy man survived. That bath looks really fun to be in. Be back in a few minutes, get you in that tub. Is that Michael Keaton? I actually did not recognize him as the cowboy guy because he's not wearing his hat. And that's not even the cowboy guy. There he is right there. Oh, the bath is above his floor. Well, that's gonna fall through and crush him, isn't it? I've been calling and texting all afternoon. She's not picking up her phone. Maybe it won't matter, come on. It might, because she could be dead. Have none of the nurses checked up on this old man who can't clearly do much? That is horrible customer service right there. How many years did you guys study for? He would have died. Instead, he survived. That's why you couldn't kill yourself. You were next, he was. You're saying this a bit loud. Yeah, so I knew you tried to kill yourself, but maybe you should, maybe you should try again and we can see if we can stop death. Oh, man. Oh, I don't care about cowboy dude getting crushed by the bath then, but that poor old guy just had to witness that. You know what this movie feels like? It just feels like a compilation of kills, which you could say for all the other movies as well, but this one especially, because it's just constantly kill after kill after kill. That's genius. Someone could get killed. That's not so genius because um, that is horrible writing. Let's just go find Laurie and Janet. No, 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 not that. It's like deja vu. My wife said that deja vu is like He's gonna hit me. Ah, yep. 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 That shot screamed that one of that girl being like, oh, well, you could just drop dead and then gets hit by a bus. Oh my God, it's like your premonition. <gasps> they say I'm getting older, but I still like to party. We're gonna party. Hardy, hardy. Now that would be an interesting one. Something involving an elevator like that. Help me get it out. Oh shit, you are doing it. Out. No, this will be a diversion. Help, Help. try to get it out. You need to pull. It's not coming I am Take your fucking shoe off. 
dumb idiot. You should've just took your shoe off. I really thought we were gonna have something involving the elevator then, and... <sighs> well, congrats, you actually diverted me for once in this movie. Oh! In a cinema? That's unique. Of course a cinema would be a great place to have one. Also, I've gathered that uh, Tony Todd wanted nothing to do with this one. <laughs> I don't know why. I knew he was the devil in like the third one, like on the roller coaster, but he hasn't been in this one at all. That's not how cinemas work. Down in front, assholes. This scene was just included for people wearing 3D glasses, wasn't it? Do you remember when Nick said that he could see signs before something bad was going to happen? Shh! Stop talking down in front. We're trying to watch a movie. Lori, it's over. Nothing is gonna happen. This is not an accurate scene because you just hear people munching popcorn the entire time. Lord! Shut up, man! We're guys! <laughs> Bang! No! Oh, okay. Oh, wrong cinema. Surely there would be alarms going off, right? The shopping center would have a emergency alarm. Janet, come on, we have to leave right now. No. No, I can't keep doing this, okay? You're both nuts. I can't miss this third act. Have you seen the letterbox reviews? I was meant to see this movie. Oh god, her acting. Yeesh. <laughs> That would have sounded fucking awesome in the surround sound speakers. Imagine there's one guy up the back that, like, is still eating his popcorn. I can't have this go to waste. I paid $8 for this small popcorn. Remain calm. The fuck? Remain calm? Oh, <laughs> the people falling off the sides. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. Don't show me what's underneath an escalator, please! Ah, 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 ah. Oh Fuck me! Fuck! Oh god damn it! You've got me, you've got me. Surely that wouldn't actually happen, right? There would be an emergency stop. Deja vu. My wife said that deja vu Fuck is like God. you! You no! Oh, I'm about to rename myself to death and kill that motherfucker. You can't do that to me! Get in front, now just stay and watch the movie at this point. I don't care, right? Finish it. Oh, please tell me that old grandma and her friend don't die in this event. They probably haven't made cookies for their grandchildren. Janet, something's wrong. You gotta love it when a character says something's wrong and doesn't just grab their friend and get the fuck out of the place. Okay man, time to whip out that penis, start pissing on it. Am I about to get shot by a nail gun? Cause this is in 3D? <laughs> I don't like that it's pointed towards me. It looks like the nail gun's dancing. Come on, man. I can't hurt that much. Jesus does it every year. Oh, it's too late. That won't... That won't de-light it in time. No way. That would have still blown up. So does he just have to wait there till one of the workers comes back from lunch? Or... <laughs> How does he get out of that? Oh, a two weeks later screen. That's how he gets out of it. Hey man, excuse me. Is this thing supposed to be this way? Isn't it supposed to be screwed tighter? You're right. So now he's become a Karen, just analyzing everything. And then just Jay walks across the road. You were just talking to that guy about what he was doing wrong and then you just walk straight across the street. Our characters love coffee in this movie, don't they? Love it. I would be avoiding a shop called Death by Caffeine now, guys. I'd be going to... Gloria Jean. 
or Wendy's. To a diabetic coma, oh. just looking at it. Well, what can I say, ladies? It looked good. That does look like a good milkshake, I am not gonna lie. I do kind of want that in my tum-tum. You saved a lot of lives, man. I was just at the right place at the right time. That was really weird. Hey, you don't knock my fan base. <laughs> oh, God. He seems like the guy that would let it all get to his head. The fact that he didn't even really do anything. What if we didn't change anything? <laughs> What are you talking about? I think maybe this time we should just enjoy our coffees and just let whatever happens happen. This was the plan from the beginning. To be at the coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off one drive. Really? The end of the movie? <laughs> oh, yeah, so it goes into an X. Fatality. Death wins. That feels so lazy. Well, hopefully they took those coffees to go. <laughs> All right, so that was Final Destination 4, otherwise known as The Final Destination, otherwise known as you and I finally agree on something and that movie was not good. I'll say it. That movie was the shortest out of all of them at an hour and 20 and it felt like it was two hours long. So that's not good. So I'm pretty sure we all know that there was a lot wrong with that movie. I have no idea as to why. Just look for Craig Perry's comment. I'm, I'm sure he highlights why it was didn't feel the way it should feel. 2009, obviously the, like the early 2000s were massive for 3D effects. I have no idea where 3D is now today. Did people realize, oh, it might fuck your eyes a little bit. I don't know what happened with that movie, but that did not feel like a Final Destination movie at all. In the nicest way possible, that felt like a fan film for Final Destination. It felt very different in a weird way. This one feels a little bit brutal, uh, but in terms of ratings, I'm gonna give The Final Destination a one out of five. Why are you booing that? And that's where I'm gonna leave the video for today. I'd love to thank you so much for watching if you did and spending a little bit of your time with me today. Please leave a big like or a little like depending on your thumb size. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Patreon if you wanna see videos a whole day early. And Craig Perry, send me an email because I'm down to get killed.